Welcome back. In this episode, we continue the full assembly process, picking up right where we left off, step by step, part by part, until the machine comes to life. First, we grab the hood latch cable and the expansion nut for the hand grip. The nut goes into the mounting hole and the cable feeds through a hole in the firewall. It runs inside the left frame rail, then comes out the other end. A rubber grommet on the cable snaps into the firewall to seal it up. Next, we pick up the power torque wrench, the sunroof drain clips, and the drain hose. The nuts holding the airbag control module come off first. Then the drain hose goes into place. Two clips get installed on the A pillar and the hose locks into them. Three more clips go on the left C pillar and the right side is done the same way. After the rear seat base is in, the rear drain hose slides through the C pillar and locks in place. On the right side, a wave limiter gets added before the hose. The airbag control module goes back on with three nuts tightened by an Atlas electronic wrench. This module processes crash signals, decides if the airbags deploy, and stores vehicle data before impact. We grab the scanner and the soundproof curtain, scan the code into the system, then tuck the curtain inside the frame rail, both sides get one. The rear hatch lock and trim cover come next. The lock bolts to the hatch, the Atlas wrench tightens two bolts, and the cover snaps on. A heat insulating pad for the front compartment gets clipped above the firewall. It blocks heat and noise. The side curtain airbag bracket and two screws are prepped. The hood support bracket comes off, and the hood closes to make room for the sunroof install. The side curtain bracket mounts to the C-pillar, screws snugged but not final tight. The robotic arm lifts the panoramic sunroof, sets it on the install tray, then slides it into the cabin. Once seated on the roof, screws are tightened on both sides, 16 in total, hold it in place. Years ago, some sunroof leaks were caused by loose drain connections. But the new hose material prevents that. What you see here is the updated hose. The front compartment soundproof pad hangs in place, and the wiring harness base is mounted. The dashboard harness gets passed through the firewall and into the cabin, the grommet sealing it. A relay gets mounted on the body pillar, then headlight harnesses are laid along the frame rail. A sealing grommet on the frame takes the left front ABS harness routed to the wheel well. The right side harness follows the same process, with the dashboard harness passed through the firewall and grommeted. Four expansion nuts go into the rear right pillar. Another soundproof pad goes on the firewall and insulation, clips, and foot pedal brackets are fitted around the dash harness. Two ground wires get secured to the frame. A wave limiter is installed on the left C pillar. And the relay box bracket is mounted. The brake booster and master cylinder assembly get scanned into the system, installed through the firewall and plugged in. Another wave limiter is mounted to the right C pillar. Armrest brackets are tightened down 
They hold firm even under heavy pulling. A signal amplifier gets mounted. Primer is applied to the triangle window frame and rear windshield frame for better glass bonding. and the vehicle control unit is connected and installed. The yellow drain hose connects the left armrest bracket tightens and the left signal amplifier screw is secured. The brake and accelerator pedals are mounted on the booster bracket. The plastic accelerator pedals are designed to brake in a crash to prevent injury. On the C-pillar rivet, secure the water deflector strip bracket. Side crash sensors mount beside the seats. Windshield washer nozzles and the antenna are wired and mounted. The rear hatch lock gets a pull cord for easy opening and panel gaps are checked. This one is perfect. Finally, the technician stamps their seal and writes down the torque value. The dashboard assembly is brought in with a robotic arm, protected with a non-scratch pad, and slid through the door opening for installation. <laughs>